Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.7 from Hedgebook. So the question is for the circuit in the figure determine the value of the current IX. Okay, I will use node of analysis with this bottom node as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0 and let me rename this node here as node A and this node here as node B. And I will assume the direction of the current. So here I will have 2 ampere going there. This is going down, right? And this is going to the right. This is going down. And this is also going down. Let's do KCL at node A. KCL at node A. And remember, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There is only one current that goes in in node A. So I will have this current here, which is 2. So I will have 2, 2 ampere. And that will equal to this current here. That will be Va minus 0. Because this is our ground, right? So I will have 0 divided by 4 and then plus Va this one here minus Vb minus Vb divided by 2 okay to get rid of the denominator I will multiply both sides by 4 so I will have 8 and this one will be 4 and 4 will be cancelled so I will have only Va and then this one, 2 and 4 will cancel into 2. So I will have plus 2VA minus 2VB. So VA plus 2VA, I will have 3VA minus 2VB will equal to 8. Let's have that as equation number 1. Okay, now let's do another KCL. So I'll have KCL at not B, right? And we use this same formula. The current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. This current that goes in, that will be Va minus Vb divided by 2. And that will equal to this one here. I will have Vb minus 0 divided by 3 plus this will be 0 0.5 ix. 0 0.5 ix. Okay, let's see what this ix is. ix is this here, but that ix will be Va minus 0 divided by 4 or Va over 4 for sure. So I will have Va minus Vb over 2 here. And this one will be Vb over 3. And this one here will have 0 0.5 multiplied by Ix. Ix is Va over 4. Va over 4. Or because 1 half is can be multiplied with this 4 in the bottom and that will become Va over 8, right? Va over 8. Va over 8. And we can multiply both sides to remove the denominator by I think 24 is good. Yeah. So I will have 12 Va here minus 12 Vb and 3 and 24 will cancel into 8 so I will have 8 Vb and then this Va over 8 will cancel out into 3 Va so I'll have plus 3 Va or we can just exchange the side so I will have this one 9 Va is equal to 20 pb.
right? Or we can just rewrite it as 9VA minus 20VB is equal to 0. So this is equation number 2. So we can rewrite equation number 1 and 2 as a matrix. Let's do that. From equation 1, I will get 3 minus 2. And then this is V1 and V2. And on the right hand side, I will have 8. And this one will be 9 and minus 20. And dot will equal to 0. Let's take out our calculator to calculate that. Set it into equation solver, which is number 5. And we have two variables, which is number 1. And let's just plug in the numbers. 3, then minus 2, and then 8, and then 9, then minus 20, and then 0. Okay, I will get our V1 will be 3.81, okay. V1 will be 3.81 volt. And then V2 will be 1.71. 1.71. But the question is about IX. So I will have IX. Oh, this is not V1 and E2. V2, but V A and V B, right? V A and V B. Okay. But Ix is just Va divided by 4. So I will have 3.81 divided by 4. And for the final answer, we will get 3.81 divided by 4. Okay, 3.81 divided by 4. Okay, the unit here is Ampere. To make it tidier, I will multiply it by 1000 so we get milliampere. That will be 952.5. 952.5 and the unit will be milliampere. So this is the final answer of the question. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching.